each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Oh, but cut for that. We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's okay. <laughs> Let's get it. What was it like bringing a brand new team to Istanbul? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race. Alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes. That's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for the sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car. Mm, the car. I had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today. Especially, I have to say, from Aiden Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season. But Jackson might just be the man to do it. Okay, Aiden. Nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Oh boy, okay. It's another shocking thing. We're moving.
Huang. Gasly stopping now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is Mark. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards are going to give you a penalty. Because it's so easy. Thank you. No, you don't. Okay, so the gap to the car behind is 2.1 seconds. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 5.2 seconds. Damn, it's over already? Shit. A 
I'm losing power! Why am I losing power? Copy that, we see it, we're looking into it. Okay, I'm afraid you're gonna have to retire the car, please, Aiden. Retire the car. Uh, you're joking! I'm sorry, Aiden. Pull over now, please. Pull over now. This is getting ridiculous! And that's agonizing for Jackson. Just a few laps left to go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sports. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me! All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. <sighs> yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring home some points for the team. Good for him. Fuck. I mean, it's clearly scripted, but god damn it, man. It's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devin. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say? A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson. That was the problem with the 2022 season. I was getting one. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But I uh, guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affects David? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. Was? So not now. Oh. Okay. 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 Aiden, hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. I look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine. Um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks, me. I've got your back, Aid. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Back on you, let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. You know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on, for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the devil. Tell him to give you some space. Both on and off the track, okay? 
Yeah, all right. Good luck with that. All right. Here we go. Six weeks later. Oh boy. This is <sighs> hey boss, got a couple of minutes? You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Andreo! Just going over those uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> Well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. we all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course. Yeah, so, uh, get priority, yeah? Alright, ciao! Fuck you, buddy. <clears throat> Mid-race. Boy. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right now with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They continue onwards, still wheel to wheel, almost touching there as well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go. And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. God damn it. What was that? When did he even think he was going to go? Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go.
Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 1.6 seconds. on the aggression, we need clean overtakes or we'll get a penalty. Good job, that was the fastest lap of the race so far. Great work, that's a new fastest lap of the race. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 2.1 seconds. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. Caution, caution. Someone's come off ahead of you, there's a yellow flag ahead. Green flag.
Our gap to the car in front is 2.5 seconds. That was a bit borderline there, we're lucky to have gotten away with it. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. We racing, boys. Woo! Okay, final lap. Let's go. Final lap. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 36.0 seconds. How are you? So it's been a day of drama here at the Circuit Shield Villeneuve today. Brandt, what stood out for you? Well, it must be the Connor Sport moment between the two drivers there. Banging wheels, not giving each other room on track. It was entertaining, of course, but definitely for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, we enjoyed it, certainly. And Aidan Jackson, well, he'd have enjoyed the result. He did well to recover. He did do well to recover, but, you know, you never want to see two cars, if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other. It's rule number one. Don't hit your teammate. Given all the problems they've had this season, though, getting one car over the finish line, that's probably a big result for them today. I took a W, bro. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all.
I mean, to be fair, I took a dump, so... Aiden, just, uh, just a heads up, we're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. But Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how you run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no. I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to them. Come on now. Sure. See you at the debrief. Let's go to the debrief, I guess. Hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 20th season is it clear to you that the team is struggling? Oh, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sports Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as Hang if Hang on they... two secs, Nats. OK, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he didn't even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. What's he doing? Uh, oh, come on, this is a joke. Mirror Vettel. No, come on.
Okay, you're in the dirty air of the car in front. Let's get past them. Huge, huge, actually huge. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Gap to your teammate behind is 7.6 seconds. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. You're in the top 10 now, keep it up. No, we fucking don't. Good job, nice overtake. Keep pushing, we need to reduce the five second gap to the car ahead. Okay, we've got four laps of fuel remaining.
know. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Final lap, final lap, push, push. Third, I'll take third. Yes, mate, I'll take that. Well done. We're really happy with the podium down here, so well done. Yes. So, Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a mm. brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport has struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammate. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. 
It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much needed points today for Connor Sports. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight. Well, a good race out there again today, Adam. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect? It's Devon. He was out of order out there. Uh, he really needs to rein it in. He's not the only one driving. I'm sure the team will have a lot to say about it. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson-Butler rivalry is well and truly back? <laughs> no, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're in the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're, we're so focused on making Connors a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So, issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Could I have pushed it harder? Probably. It was a good enough result, but, you know, with the past issues of the car, I feel maybe we held back a little bit. I'll definitely be putting in the work for the next race weekend, for sure. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sports not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you? I hope so. I mean, today was good. Yeah, there was no issues with the car. It's, uh, it's always difficult when a driver brings everything they've got and the car lets them down at the last minute. But, you know, I've been told the team has, has got it all under control. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few races. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with the team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we checked the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedom. Harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden. You're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams. So just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn about Devon. <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat him. Could you take a look at this, please?
Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. <laughs>